in life, Nathan McCall was the quintessential knucklehead, an idiot wannabe thug that defied his parents, lived to get into trouble, and was determined through asinine and oftentimes criminal means to become what a stereotypical super conservative voter of a lighter hue lives to see on network evening news. A young, handcuffed black man on his way to jail or dead on somebody's lawn. In McCall's case, fate intervened with a 12-year bid in the penitentiary at 20 years old that saved and changed his life. Hey everybody, this is Bookin. I'm Mark Crockett. Nathan McCall's autobiographical debut, a debut book, Make Me Wanna Holler, A Young Black Man in America, is the rare nonfiction book that should be gifted to every black child at birth, then passed on to the next one once it's understood, like the heirloom it is. One of five children of Leonore and Bonnie Alvin, Nathan was a school smart delinquent drawn to disorder out of toxic masculinity, crushing racism in his hometown in 1960s Portsmouth, Virginia, impatience, and like a lot of frustrated young people, a very hard head. A history of gang banging, fights, a near fatal shooting culminated with a final nail in the coffin of a botched robbery of a McDonald's sent him to prison. Looking at a decade behind bars in close proximity with the worst of the worst of mankind helped to grind through the rind of stupidity surrounding McCall and, along with an unlikely group of older inmate mentors, brought about a sea change of attitude akin to a miracle. Books, the prison library, journaling, and religion were now first and foremost in his life. But the hard times weren't over yet. Catching parole after three years, a lot he's a lot more mature and armed with a one-year scholarship to the historically black Norfolk State University, McCall's true test came as he transitioned back into the free world. Now an ex-con university student, a litany of setbacks, trials and woes aplenty, peppered with guarded optimism, was all McCall had against the harshness of the outside world that, and I borrow this from Malcolm X, stood ready to crush people, then penalize them for not being able to stand under the weight. His harshest tests were yet to come. Thanks for stopping by. This is Bookin' and I'm Mark Crockett.